Hey everybody, Brian here. Today I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to do something we get asked about a lot at MacFusion, and that is how to update Adobe Flash Player. Okay, first a little bit of background. Flash is a piece of software that runs along with your web browser and helps display certain types of content on the internet, especially animations and videos. Since being developed in the 1990s, Flash has become outdated and many websites are moving away from using it. However, there are still a few websites where you'll need it. Just like with any piece of software, Flash occasionally needs to be updated. Unfortunately, Adobe has not made that process very easy and many users get stuck or think they've completed the update when in fact they haven't. This video will help you make sure you're running the latest version of Flash and if you're not, we'll teach you how to get it updated. First, go to System Preferences either by clicking on it in your dock or via the Apple menu in the upper left corner. Look for an icon in the bottom row called Flash Player. Click on that. Next, find the section that's labeled Updates. Click that. And then click the button that says check now. If your version of Flash is up to date, you'll receive a message that says no new updates. If an update is available, you'll see a button that says update. Click that and you'll be taken directly to this web page. Click the yellow button. This will download a file to your computer. Normally the file will go to your downloads folder, which is often located in the dock directly to the left of the trash icon. If the downloads folder isn't there, open up a new finder window by clicking the face icon in the dock and you should see a shortcut in the sidebar to the downloads folder. Inside that folder will be the file you just downloaded. It should say something with the name Flash Player in the title. Double clicking on that will open the file and cause a disk to appear on your desktop. Double click the disk's icon to open it. Inside that disk will be a file called Install Adobe Flash Player. Double click that file. You may receive a warning about this being an application downloaded from the internet. Go ahead and click Open because we know that the file is coming directly from Adobe and therefore it won't have any malware in it. This is just a standard warning that the computer produces when it senses that you're opening something that you downloaded from the internet and it can be a good way to protect you from getting any sort of malware or spyware on your system. Your computer may then ask for your administrator password. As long as your user is set up as an administrator, go ahead and type the password and hit OK. Also, if you don't have a password set, you can just leave this blank and hit OK. Remember, this is your Mac password and not necessarily the same as your Apple ID password or any other passwords you might have. After that, a progress bar will move across the screen and once it finishes, it will display a message that you should restart your browser. Go ahead and click the yellow button that says finish. If your browser was open during the installation, go ahead and switch to that app and quit it. Then when you reopen the browser, Adobe Flash will be fully installed. In this case, I'm using Safari, so I'll click on it in the dock, go to the menu that says Safari, and click Quit. Then I'll reopen the browser, and now I know Flash is installed. After installing Flash, you should do a little bit of cleanup work. First, go to your desktop and eject the disk that was created earlier. You can do this just by dragging it to the trash in your dock. Finally, delete the original installer file in your downloads folder. Again, you can just drag it to the trash. However, in this case, you'll want to open the trash and click empty to actually delete the file. Hopefully this video has been helpful and will prevent you from getting stuck on web pages that are still using Flash. And just so you know, MacFusion.com is not one of them. Happy browsing!